it was just incredible work. Again, the, the nice thing about being at DCG is probably you get to develop people and leaders every day. And like I said, Jason, that'll be your impact here um, for a long time coming, even uh, even after your, even after you PCS out. Going to Becky, uh, talk about developing leaders. Same, same for you, Becky. Your your leadership and your uh, commitment to our community and our families has been extraordinary. Uh, you have from day one, you've gone all in. You've gone to where the holes are in the uh, in, in, in the vacuums, and you filled those with lies caring, loving, and strong leadership when needed. And uh, um, I'm just, I'm, again, Lou and I are both grateful for everything you have done for the division, the community, and for our families. Uh, the fruits of, of your labor, and really both the girls' labors, are, are really starting to show right now. Um, and uh, uh, I hope we can both keep the momentum going for, for what you all really got going in a good way. We're, uh, everyone's tracking, I think, uh, Mike Mountain 6-6. Uh, Jason's heading off to uh, become the J-3 for uh, Operation Inherent Resolve in Baghdad. Uh, good news is uh, the, the commandos are going about the same time. They'll be a little bit uh, after Jason gets over there. Um, but the team of the commandos and uh, General Curl, I think, will be a pretty powerful uh, force there in Syria and Iraq. And uh, Jason, I wish you uh, Godspeed, best of luck, and uh, if there's anything you need, uh, uh, please, uh, please do not hesitate to call. You are a servant leader, and uh, again, you inspire me. I'm grateful. And Becky, good news is um, we get to keep Becky here in the community, and uh, um, Becky, just again, thank you. I look forward to uh, to seeing you when we get back. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and uh, let's let's publish the uh, uh, the orders and award these two amazing leaders. Attention to orders. The Legion of Merit is presented to Brigadier General Jason A. Curl for exceptionally meritorious service while serving as the Deputy Commanding General, 10th Mountain Division Light Infantry, Fort Drum, New York, from 1 July 2021 to 1 June 2023. Brigadier General Curl's tremendous leadership, dedication, and selfless service contributed immeasurably to the overall success of the Army's mission and set a high standard for others to emulate. His ability to teach, coach, and mentor leaders at all levels contributed greatly to a positive command climate and adherence to standards and discipline. Brigadier General Curl's performance is in keeping with the finest traditions of military service and reflects great credit upon him, the United States Army Forces Command, and the United States Army. Signed, Andrew E. Popas, General, U.S. Army, Commanding General. Raymond will now present a gift to uh, for your general Colonel. Oh, so to the uh, quickly on this to the next word. Oh, okay. yeah. Perfect sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Attention to orders. The Department of the Army uh, presents the Meritorious Public Service Medal to Miss Rebecca F. Curl for exemplary service to the 10th Mountain Division Light Infantry Soldiers, Department of the Army civilians and their families from September 2021 to May 2023. Ms. Curl eagerly supported the Army's mission with countless hours of volunteer work, direct support to Army families, and outreach to the surrounding North Country communities. She selflessly gave her time to tell the Army's story, provided beneficial guidance to soldier and family readiness groups, and provided a voice to the concerns of Army spouses to military civilian leaders. Ms. Curl's dedication to soldiers and families is in keeping with the finest traditions of public service and reflects great credit upon herself, the 10th Mountain Division, Light Infantry, and the United States Army of the United States of America. Signed, General Gregory K. Anderson, Major General. Now 
we will now present the uh, gifts to General Henderson, <laughs> General Curl. today's ceremony and we thank you all for your attendance. No, no, I, I, my final remarks are all of you guys are going to line up and you're going to hug these two people before they leave the post here. So. <laughs> Sir, thanks for, thanks for uh, joining us from the far end. Yeah, yeah I, I, how, how are we letting uh, Jason and Becky off the hook without any comments? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. Okay, I don't really have any uh, prepared remarks, but that's never stopped me. <laughs> so, sir, thank you very much, and thank you very much for, for your leadership, and thank you very much uh, for all that you've taught me about uh, light infantry, training management, and everything else. So, uh, I really appreciate the opportunity. Aaron, and if Josh is anywhere around, uh, thank you all so much um, for, uh, for everything that you've done for the division. Uh, running the staff and, and running everything else uh, for the division. For the team back here, um, Tom Gukaisen, Jeff Long, um, um, John Williams, um, uh, Jim Zucchino, uh, Eric Wagonar, um, and all the rest, thank you very much, especially the past few months, as Sergeant Major said. Um, you guys are kind of running a, a, a division on a battalion-sized staff. Um, and it's you, it's been super impressive to see, uh, but but thank you all for all the brigade and battalion command teams. Uh, thank you for your leadership. It's your leadership that that makes makes it all work, and, and for um, to be able to do everything um, for this uh, for this division, for this this installation, for our team, uh, Cam, um, Sergeant Machine, uh, Tammy. Um, Thank you all so much for, for everything that you've done for, for me personally and, and, and for the division uh, as a whole. And Becky, Alex, Allison, um, thanks for all your love and support. So thank you all.